man caves? How about man camps? We haven't talked about this in a long time, but some oil boom towns are still struggling to find qualified workers to keep up with the work as areas like the Permian Basin in Texas and New Mexico boom again. And you can really get a sense of how they're booming when you see these temporary housing cities that are known as man camps sprout up near fracking operations, tens of thousands of them. But remember, tens of thousands of jobs had been wiped out between 2014 and early 2016 when oil prices dropped from more than 100 bucks to the low $20 per barrel. Now we're more than 65. So can we expect to see a comeback as we see daily output is about to top 11 million barrels a day by this coming November? This much sooner than expected, having previously forecast it would hit that level by November of next year, not even this year. Looking at oil right now, actually, we're now at 61.79, down 2.5% today. As we look at the inventory picture and so much more, let us bring in, as we look at stockpiles growing for a second week in a row, let's bring in Chris Wright. He's the chairman and CEO of Liberty Oil Field Services in a Fox Business exclusive. Uh, I love your story, but, uh, you know, are we, are we on the right track with these man camps? They are almost like the, the leading indicator of how well the industry is doing, right? Yeah, absolutely, Liz. Yeah, man camps are a big part of the business because two of the very big uh, oil fields, the Permian in West Texas and New Mexico and the Bakken in North Dakota, there's simply not enough workers to get them all local. So 75 percent and even more than that in the Bakken are, are commuting up there and working on rotation. And um, you got to have a place to stay and the man camps accommodate that. Yeah. Um, have you ever been in one? Are they comfortable? Absolutely. I've stayed in man camps. In fact, I brought my wife, my mother, and my children to stay in a man camp. I think they're quite nice.